So it's countdown to Christmas in earnest, guys. And uh, we lit the fourth advent calendar this weekend and just relaxed, really. So I don't have a huge amount to share with you in this fourth advent video. Uh, I will show you a bit more Danish food traditions. We will, of course, unwrap the fourth advent gifts and share those with you. And yeah, let's see what else might happen in this little video. But it's all about getting ready for Christmas. In my third advent video, I showed you that we had snow in London. That has now definitely disappeared because we've gone from minus five to plus 12 in the space of one week. <laughs> I mean, this weather is just, it's, it's freaky. It really is. So at least it's warmer. Um, we don't have to have the heating on so much, which is a good thing. But we won't have snow for Christmas, I don't think. Christmas is just at the weekend, so it's probably a bit unlikely, unfortunately, especially for the kids around the country who would love to have a bit of snow. But I mean, you know, let's see what happens, but it looks a bit unlikely now. If you're enjoying this video, please give it that little thumbs up love. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you to all my current subscribers. You are the best. I thought I'd share this little story with you. And um, in my pursuit to get all my husband's Christmas presents, I'm sure you do this as well because it's so convenient nowadays to get quite a few presents on Amazon. I bought a few things for my husband that were on his list um, on Amazon. And uh, the other day I was like, hmm, I think there's a present missing. So I went to my Amazon account and it said the present had been delivered. And I was like, that's weird. It hasn't been delivered because I haven't seen it. So I went next door to the neighbor to see maybe they had taken in the present and um, they came back and said, no, they hadn't. A bit later, they came around again and told a horror story that one of the things that they had recently purchased on Amazon had been um, stolen from somebody on the doorstep and they found the parcel unwrapped down the street, which is, uh, I think, unfortunately, something that criminals are looking at in the moment. So I thought I would just, you know, a word of be cautious, make sure that you've got somewhere safe to put your deliveries, because um, there are people out there that are trying to uh, take advantage of this time of year and still if they can get away with it which is not particularly nice so anyway back to my <laughs> my present situation i went online again submitted a comment to the trader on amazon they sent a photo of the delivery of the present and my husband will no doubt be watching this video and he will be laughing his head off because in the video, quite clearly, it was our entrance, it was our corridor, and it was probably me that signed for the present. So, hmm, I went to our parcels and the presents that I've wrapped, and guess what? I realised that I had wrapped the present already, but not really looked at it very much. How silly, how absolutely silly. Anyway, good end to the story is that my husband will be getting the present. But what does it tell you? I think I've had too many things on my mind recently and therefore completely didn't register that I had actually had the present. 
So it was a good end to the story, but yeah, I thought it was a bit funny, really. Any Liverpool fans out there will know this is the Anfield Stadium of the Liverpool Football Club, which my husband is a fan of. We have a sentimental attachment to the island of Madeira. So this Advent present was to remind us of our wonderful trip there. My husband is the most thoughtful person Yeah, Look, he's been out buying meaty stockings for the cats. And uh, they've already been sniffing it. I think there is a toy and then there's some treat bits. So they will also have a present under the Christmas tree. How sweet is that? We'll show you what they got when uh, we open it and let you know what they prefer. I made a quick trip to Victoria and Albert this week and stopped for a little coffee and a chat with a friend and had a little look around their shop and they had this alternative artistic Christmas tree. What do you guys think? And since I was there, I thought I'd just show you this magnificent installation by Shihuli, which is all glass and has been there for years. But I love it so much, so I thought I'd share with you guys. Just like the UK, uh, mulled wine is a big thing in Scandinavia at Christmas time. We call it Gluck. In my third Advent video, I showed you some Danish Christmas traditional foods and I went hunting for a few more this week. And uh, I went to Scandi Kitchen. I'll insert a little clip it is a shop stroke cafe in uh, Great Titchfield Street here in London and they have Scandinavian traditional food items in their shop in the basement. So I managed to get a few of the things that we were missing for our Christmas 
and I'll show them here. So one item is this, which is a traditional Danish cheese called Fleur Havarti. It's a very creamy cheese. So yeah, it's full fat, but it is very nice. So it's a nice treat for Christmas. Then we've got some Danish uh, Christmas Brunkeer. Um, they are ginger biscuits with, um, yeah, the normal ingredients. So cinnamon, um, ginger, very nice. And something that we always eat at Christmas. And you can see there, here they are baked in Moon, which is a small island in Denmark by this brand called Karen Wolf. The other items that I picked up were this one for from a brand called Bove. Doesn't sound very Danish, but um, it is a Danish food manufacturer. And this is red cabbage. We eat this together with the turkey. Here in the UK, it would be the turkey or in Denmark, typically it would be pork or duck. Um, yeah, some people do eat turkey in Denmark as well, but most people I would say eat um, pork and duck. And then there was these ones as well, which are like white cucumbers. So they are marinated, pickled. And these are some of my favorites. They remind me of my childhood. In fact, both of them do. <laughs> so I was delighted to find these. So they go with the main Christmas meal. And then the other items are obviously sweet treats for the Christmas days. Uh, another thing that I found was the Antenberg marzipan breads, which is another very traditional type sweet in Denmark. I think I told you before that marzipan is huge in Denmark. And then I got these little chocolate items from another confectionery brand called Tomps. Yeah, they've got hazelnut, dark chocolate and milk chocolate. And then we've got these Gifla. I think they are maybe Swedish in fact, but they're like little cinnamon cakes uh, and another favorite. And lastly, I managed to find some Danish Christmas beer for my husband, which he is delighted about. Tubo Juleborg is uh, very traditional for Danish Christmas. While we're talking food, I made a very practical purchase the other day, which is this um, whisker from Duolit. We got it from John Lewis and yeah, I'm quite excited to try it out. I like the design of this. I think it's quite funky how the plug goes in to the side of the uh, whisker. And then you obviously put the whisks on on this side because I am planning to do some uh, Christmas biscuits and also one of the traditional foods at Christmas time is what's called Rieselamang. And I will show that to you in a little uh, special Christmas vlog when we get that far. So, but anyway, I thought I'd share that this was a recent, very practical purchase. All the Christmas present shopping has been done. The majority of my presents this year I purchased online um, so that they could be sent abroad in a timely fashion because we have had a lot of disruption in terms of mail strikes and so on. So I think that was a good thing because everything has arrived to my niece and nephew, which obviously is uh, critical because Christmas is all about the kids, right? Um, and I have also sorted out all of the presents for my husband. So he will hopefully get most of the things that he had on his wish list this year. Uh, so all our Christmas presents are wrapped and they are looking pretty lovely, I think. Yeah, not bad. 
can't wait it's going to be fun opening them and will be great to see what my husband has um, come up with this Christmas yeah we, we try not to go overboard but there are as you can see a few presents for both of us um, this big one I have an inkling what it is and I can't wait to open it and I will share with you guys what it is after Christmas Eve of course Christmas so, Eve really I will take some clips of our presents and share those with you and of course share what we have for our food um, and things like that but uh, mainly I think Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve will uh, I will probably not be filming so much um, I hope you all understand that and um, yeah I will do a little special Christmas uh, vlog for you guys with a few bits in it so yeah I hope you look forward to that so that was the last installment of my advent vlogs there will be one more coming which is a special christmas vlog so if you enjoyed this please make sure you hit that thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do i really would appreciate it i'm trying to build my channel here and i can see there's quite a few of you watching but not subscribing so please do hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me and would fulfill a christmas wish too so you can make it come true so thank you so much everybody for watching and i guess all there is to say is have a fabulous christmas wherever you are and see you in my next video bye now <laughs>